Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're gonna look at the topic of fraction multiplication and how it relates to area of a rectangle. Now, we know that to find the area of a rectangle you would multiply the side times the side. Now, think of this whole rectangle as having the area of one square unit. So that one side here, the whole side would be one unit, and this side would be one unit. You can even mark them here, okay? This is one unit. If you want to, you can imagine it being one inch, or one centimeter, or one meter, or something. And then this side here would be one unit. And the whole square has the area of one square unit, right? And now we can illustrate this fraction multiplication using this. So that once we will take, on one side we will take two thirds. This side I have divided into three parts. One part, two, and three. And then I take two thirds, this length here. And then I take half. On this side I take half of the unit. Half, uh, half an inch or half a meter or whatever. And now, with this and this length, I will form another rectangle. This here will make a rectangle whose area is two-thirds times one-half, right? It is this times this. And this is two-thirds of a unit, this is half a unit. So I multiply, I can use now fraction multiplication. Two times one is two, three times two is six. So I get two-sixths of a square unit. And you can see two are colored out of total six parts. And just remember, this is basically two thirds of a unit of some sort times half a unit equals two sixths of that kind of square unit. If you're teaching this, you can use inches, you know, something like that, if you want to. Let's look at another example. Here is a rectangle now. Or actually, it is trying to be a square. And um, this whole side would be one unit. But I'm only looking at this much of it. And this whole side would be one unit. But I'm only looking at this much of it. Because I'm making a new rectangle here. And its side is this and this, okay? This side here measures exactly three fourths of the whole unit, right? And this side here measures also three-fourths. So, to get the area of this colored rectangle, I multiply the three-fourths of a unit times three-fourths of a unit, and I get three times three is nine, four times four is sixteen. Nine sixteenths of a square unit. Okay, and you can see the nine over sixteen here. Nine are colored out of total sixteen. Oh, here, the task is to write the multiplication to match this picture. Okay, on this side it's divided into three parts. So this is one third of a unit. And then this side here would be one, two, three out of five, three fifths of a unit. So my multiplication is one third of a unit times three fifths of a unit. And I multiply, I get one times three is three, and here fifteen. 3 fifteenths of a square unit, okay? Which you can see, 3 are colored out of 15. Now, of course, it does simplify, it is also 1 fifth, okay? Which is not as easily seen in the picture, though. Another type of exercise we can do is that we give students the multiplication and they need to color in, make the model. So, for example, 1 half times 3 fourths. If I have my model here ready, then 1 half I look for the side which is divided into two parts. So it is this side. It's not this side, but this side. So I can choose either this or this. Let's say I choose this here. And then three-fourths. Okay, it's going to be this side now, or this side. But I want my rectangle here, so I'll choose this three-fourths. One, two, three-fourths of the unit. And so I now I color this rectangle here. There. And the answer is three-eighths of a square unit. Two-thirds times three-fourths. In a similar way, two-thirds. I need to find a side that is divided into thirds. It's this or this side. Let's say I choose this top here now. I choose these two-thirds of a unit. 
And then I need to find a side that is divided into fourths, it's this one. So I go one, two, three, these three units, or oh, three fourths of unit, I should say. And so my rectangle will be here. All these parts are colored. And so I get 6 over 12, which is exactly, it simplifies to 1 half now. 1 half of a square unit is colored. Lastly, I have a word problem. I wrote it here so I could have lots of space here, okay? It says, draw 1 inch by 1 inch square. This is trying to be that square. I know that in reality, students will draw just a little, little thing, okay, on the paper, but I want you to see it very clearly. And then inside it, draw inside it another square with 3 8 inch sides, so that two of its sides touch the sides of the larger square. And what are the areas of the two squares? Okay, the idea is to draw another square here so that one of its sides is along here, and the other side is here, like this. Or maybe you can choose, you know, this corner or whatever, but anyway. Here I would need to draw a square that its sides are 3 eighths of an inch, okay? So, now students will have a ruler that, where they can measure 3 eighths of an inch. I don't have it now, but I can approximately try to divide this into 8 parts, right? If this is my one inch side, there, this much would be three eighths. Then over here is the half mark, fourth, eighth, and here. About this much. Now, the area of the bigger square is one inch times one inch equals one square inch. The area of the smaller square is found by multiplication also. Three eighths of an inch times three eighths of an inch. And we multiply fractions. Three times three is nine. And eight times eight is sixty-four. And now our unit is square inches. Okay, you can see that I have nine little parts here. And if I filled the whole big square with these little parts, it would be 64 total here. Okay. Just a nice little application of uh, fraction multiplication as it relates to area.